telomeres protect DNA. But what is the danger DNA needs protection from? The danger is the damage to DNA that can lead to senescence. When the telomeres have worn down and cannot protect the DNA, DNA becomes damaged and replication is blocked. This means that the cells can no longer generate new copies of themselves, the tissue cannot repair itself, and the proper function of the tissue is lost. Therefore, the more rounds of replication the cells of the tissues can go through without damaging DNA, the longer the lifespan of the tissues. Telomeres allow for this longer lifespan of the tissues by protecting DNA allowing for more replication. So, how do telomeres provide this protection to DNA? A new copy of DNA is produced during cell replication, which is the process by which cells in the human body generate new cells. During replication, when DNA is copied, most but not all of the DNA is copied. This means that a little DNA from the ends of the DNA strands are lost, making the DNA shorter in the new cell than it had been in the original cell. However, these ends are made of telomeres, which are non-coding parts of DNA. Since telomeres are non-coding, this loss of DNA does not damage the cell, as only a little bit of telomere is lost, and not the coding region of the DNA. But how long can this cycle last? After the next round of replication, won't the telomeres get shorter, and then shorter after that with each subsequent round of DNA replication? The answer is yes. Telomeres get shorter every time a cell replicates. Eventually, the telomeres will wear down to the critical length, meaning when the telomeres are so short, the rest of the DNA is in danger. Can exercise lengthen telomeres? The enzyme telomerase is the enzyme that can add nucleotides to telomeres to make telomeres longer. Telomerase is a reverse transcriptase, meaning it can produce an RNA strand that is reversed transcribed into a DNA strand that is added to the telomeres. Thus, telomeres can be lengthened through reverse transcription. Aerobic exercise has been shown to turn on the genes that code for telomerase, and aerobic exercise training has been associated with longer telomeres when compared to a sedentary population. Some studies have shown longer telomeres in individuals who have completed an exercise training program. The most profound effects of longer telomeres when compared to inactive groups have occurred after six months of exercise training. However, telomerase preferentially binds to shorter telomeres. As a telomere shortens, it opens itself up more to be exposed to the enzyme telomerase while longer telomeres tend to be covered in proteins. This allows the telomerase to act on the shortest telomeres in the cell. Since telomerase preferentially binds to shorter telomeres, signs of lengthening the longest telomeres may not be an effective measure of telomerase activity from exercise training. Additionally, exercise training may protect telomeres even without lengthening telomeres. Oxidative stress and chronic inflammation are both known to damage telomeres. Yet, aerobic exercise training has been linked to increased activity of antioxidant enzymes, such as superoxide dismutase, to protect from oxidative stress. The powerful anti-inflammatory effect of aerobic exercise is one of the greatest health benefits of aerobic exercise. Thus, some of the protection exercise provides telomeres is not from lengthening telomeres, but rather from protecting telomeres from being shortened.